Outside the architecture building stands an ominously rusted figure that towers over many people. Most people are unfamiliar with its representation. This unknown sculpture was created by Robert Bruno in 1974 and proudly stands outside of the building he taught from 1971 until 1980. He created this sculpture in the courtyard between the art and architecture buildings. This sculpture was initially built on wheels and stored at one of his friend's houses on 68th Street. Robert Bruno spent many hours having lunch under this sculpture until one day he considered the possibility of living in this sculpture. He immediately started constructing a new house in Ransom Canyon from 1975 until his death in 2008. Despite the steel house being unfinished, it is known worldwide. It has been published in many articles around the world, such as Vogue, Twill, and the New York Times. The steel house by Bruno is a large reddish-brown structure made of 110 tons of steel that overlooks the Ransom Canyon. It was designed and constructed by him. Throughout the years, he created his own steel, welded it together, created stained glass, and even took it apart. Bruno was a perfectionist. If any piece of his house did not look right, he would tear it apart and put it together in a different way. He even made his own furniture to fit the dimensions of the house. He eventually lived in the steel house during his final years. Aside from his architectural and sculptural impacts, Robert Bruno had an everlasting friendship with many people. No matter who you talk to, people will remember Bruno for who he was, not just his works. He was a kind-hearted person that always helped those in need. As first impressions, he was shy. After earning his trust, he was extremely outgoing and spirited. Most importantly, he was humble. As for the people who knew him, Henry Martinez was one of Bruno's workers for his irrigation business. He also helped Bruno with the steel house during the later years of construction. Martinez is now the administrator of the house. He wants to continue working on it and carry out Bruno's legacy by letting people tour the facility. Another friend is Upe Fluckiger. He designated an area for the sculpture and created a contest for his students to create a seating space around the sculpture in order to capture the memories of Robert Bruno.